What the fuck was that? You changed everything about the electric guitar to me. Pick one, John. He just might be the best musician you've never heard of until now. I remember the first time I saw John Jorgensen play. He's one of the few guitar players who can play in any genre at all and look like that's all he does. So this is my room. I want your room. <laughs> can I move in here? He's this incredible musician that plays 12 different instruments at least. Um, and he's not just okay on any of them. He's really good at every one of them. Revered for his searing guitar licks, Grammy winner John Jorgensen was co-founder of the Desert Rose Band. Three times honored as Guitarist of the Year by the Academy of Country Music, he's performed with Bob Dylan, Willie Nelson, Tom Petty, Johnny Cash, Bonnie Raitt, and many others, and toured with Elton John for six years. <laughs> A lot of us look to him as a, a guy that um, sets a high standard. I, I mean, I had to shred to get myself up to half speed compared to you. There's this vision. It was like, that's what I want to sound like. And I have spent my entire career trying to sound like you. This eight-part series features killer jams and intimate conversations with world-renowned musicians diving deep on a variety of topics, including their influences and musical heroes. Today, John's pulled together friends who were influenced like himself in some way by the revolutionary sounds coming out of Europe in the 1930s. It's called Gypsy Jazz, and Django Reinhardt was at its center. The first time I heard Django Reinhardt, I could not believe how great it sounded. You know, with just so much fire, energy, passion. This guy was on another planet, and you just go, wow. You know, I've never heard anything like that. No one could play like him. It combined elements of swing, improvisation, classical music. It changed my life. It was almost like a puzzle that I just had to figure out. Not only did John figure it out, he mastered it. Django's castle? Yes. Ready? Yeah. So what I've found about Gypsy Jazz, especially in my friends, is once they get bitten by the bug, as I call it, they just go crazy for it. It absolutely opened my eyes, my ears, my heart. Because Django played the way he played, the rest of us feel free to fly our kite too. And he did that for us. He showed us a way of playing that set you free. Play something in E? Sure. I like it. It's important to have a baseline of, of musical knowledge to be able to draw from the old bag of tricks, you know, the jazz. The, the country, the gospel, the, you know, blues, rock and roll, heavy metal. I think all of us, as we do that, you're, you're respecting that tradition because it has to come from there. And if you truly love it, you know, you can honor that, but you can make your own music. I feel like that's a theme through my whole life, that music is the thing that everybody understands, everybody loves. And, and everybody can come together and grow from. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. You've influenced an entire generation of guitarists now. And everybody can leave their own stamp on it and, and, yeah. and push it forward. Yes, you know, and that's the blessing of getting to do this for a living is that, you know, we would all be doing this for free. 
I would pay to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah don't know? tell anybody. I would tell, and I tell have, anybody. I have paid to do it, you know? Right.